Well, good morning everyone from Hollywood Studios. We're just heading on in. Uh, Laura's gone ahead with the family uh, in a separate car, so I'm just uh, arriving to meet them. Heading in, it looks quite busy, but we're here for opening. We're here at currently five past eight. Park opens at half eight for regular guests. So it's uh, looking busy so far, but once everyone's in, that initial rush is over, we should be okay. I think we're heading to Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway uh, to start with for little Jude, I think. Yeah, but we'll see. We're going to catch up with them first amongst all this madness and uh, see where we go from there. All set, all set. Okay, well, we're in, and our first stop is to grab a coffee here from Starbucks. So we're going to head on in and then uh, grab a dad of tea as well before we start our day. What are you going for, Dad? What do you think? Just a, a breakfast tea, I'm English tea. A, I'm after a Mel of Birds, <laughs> and it just isn't on the board. So it's going to be an English tea. An English tea. Laura, your standard. Oh. Wake you up. We'll get you a Rice Krispie Square as well. Extra, you get an extra coffee in it today? Extra shot of coffee. And I want two tea bags. Okay, two tea bags. You get yourself in line then, Dad. We've got the brand new just dropped today, a Dooney and Burks. It's like a Bambi range. Very nice. Limited edition magic bands. What would you go for, Laura? Pairs. It's nice, isn't it? So it's uh, Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway to start the day. Here we go. You win. Do you mind helping these good people into the cartoon while they fix this here Loki motive? Be back in a jiffy to pick you all up. Hey, Dad, can't believe you want employee of the month. <laughs> you wish you were an engineer. Oh, yeah, <laughs> Garvey. Goofy Garvey. Goofy Garvey, there you go. Are you feeling after your coffee, Laura? Are you ready to ride the train? I am ready to ride the train. No, you look a little bit tired today. This will get you going. No, this is a high speed, enthralling, yeah, very super fast train. It's like the Yorah store. This. Very good at dancing, Laura. Well, that was a good little ride on the Runaway Railway. It's a good little family ride, isn't it? Yeah, Jude seemed to like it with all the colours and things. We were worried about it being a bit loud in some of the rooms, but uh, he was fine, loved it. Yeah. So it is a good one. There is no height restriction or anything on that one. Uh, there is a few of them like that. I think Alien Sources Spin, which we're going to next, also doesn't have a height requirement. Uh, the ones that do, the likes of uh, Slinky Dog, we're going to check uh, exactly what the height requirement is for that. That was a nice little way to start the day, something different. Yeah, it's chill, nice We wouldn't have normally time. started the day with Runaway Railway, we'd normally jump on Tower of Terror or something, oh, so... Yeah, rocket, yeah. Nice to do something a little bit different, mix it up. We've got uh, Meet Ariel from the live action story, there we go. You can meet Ariel at the moment in Walt Disney Presents, just here. That is in theatres at the moment, May 26th. So over here in uh, America, that is all on in the cinemas. It was quite busy in Disney Springs, the cinema yesterday, for that. So we're heading into Toy Story Land, we're going to go to Alien Swirling Saucers. It is very busy in here today so far. Uh, straight away, Runaway Railway jumped up to a 60 minute wait. Jumped up quite quickly. Here we go, Toy Story, great for the kids. Very colourful. 
But so we like it ourselves, don't we? We've got Toy Story Land, it's amazing. I can't believe what they've done with it. Like how they made it so immersive. Same with Star Wars Land, it's made it so immersive. And just so spectacular, you feel like you're in Toy Story. Yeah, it is. You don't even feel like you're in Hollywood Studios. Once you get into this bit, it almost feels like a separate park. Yeah, so years ago when you'd go into a, a land, you wouldn't be that immersed in a land, would you? But now, no, this like, is, Toy Story uh... Land, Harry Potter Land. You know, Galaxy's everything. Edge. Yeah, you're just totally immersed. You could wear yeah. the outfit and be part of that world yourself. Really yeah. good. And especially with that new little restaurant as well. I'd love to try that one day. Maybe at some point on this trip, if not the next trip, we will try the uh, Roundup Rodeo Barbecue. Let's go and get ourselves in the line. It does always make me tempted coming in here for a Woody's lunchbox as well. I love a Woody's lunchbox. Yeah, I do like that. The three cheese toasty and the hash browns. Oh, yeah. It's just battling for the table that puts me off a little bit. I know, it's, it's a bit... It's like always a battle. Tell you, tables. there were some battles coming into the park this morning. Tell you, I uh, nearly witnessed a few fights going on, queuing up for the, the line to get into the park early. Yeah, there People were kicking off there, and yeah. get to the back. I've been waiting, oh, we got a little bit, uh, little bit feisty. <laughs> Well, it's a busy little morning here, 70 minutes for Toy Story Mania. Wow. I'll have a little look at what Slinky Dog's on. I've got to say, I've not seen it running yet, though, so that could be adding a bit of a delay to things. I've not seen Slinky going round. He's either running slowly or not running at all. Yeah, I've not uh, seen him going, which could be having a bit of a knock-on effect. There does seem to be a lot of people waiting around. That's a shame. I'm sure they get it up and running. Yeah, so Slinky Dog is currently down, so that is probably what's uh, making it such a long wait for Toy Story Mania. But we're coming down to here, alien swearing saucers. <clears throat> a bit like the teacups, but with a twist. Yeah. These are good fun, these. And they uh, play different music as well, especially at Christmas, things like that. They change the music on here. It is good fun, <laughs> especially for the kids. It does give you a good little bit of a whip though. When they spin around, there is a bit of a whip to it. It is good fun. We saw a lot of uh, sunglasses and hats oh in um, in Runaway Railway. They don't tell anyone to take their hats off and things. You go through a room with a bit of a storm and it blows quite strong. Yeah, so we blow up, Loads yeah. of people were losing their things, weren't they? So Laura, I know everyone's gonna ask, where is your little necklace from so this is a Swarovski crystal necklace it is from the park but we did get it a long long time ago i, don't know I think it was on see. our first trip yeah it's got yeah, the little heart Tinkerbell, with her yeah, and, yeah it's she's nice, old that. but she is from the park yeah so it's like nice that. got my little pink mickey as well yeah i'm gonna wear with pink Swarovski mickey as well nice right, you got all the gear there i like the matching bag and ears combo that we've got going on no, that, no, that was complete yeah. coincidence <laughs> It's the only thing I wish they'd do with the ears is the rip-off tags. We need to cut them off, don't we? Yeah. They don't they do the tear do ones, don't they? Some, at one point on some of them, but not on all of them. So. Yeah, I think because they're leather, they're not... Well, yeah. they're leather or pleather, however you want to do it. I yeah. think they've not done the tear-off ones with that. Okay, here we go then. We gotta put the seatbelt on, Laura. There you go. There he is. There he is. Garvey, looking like an alien over there. Here we go. So this is quite an expensive toasty, but it's one of the best. I absolutely love the grilled three cheese sandwich in here. It's so, so good. It's pricey, 
but it's really, really nice. One of the nicest toasties you can get anywhere. Really do like it. And I also love the uh, Mystic Portal Punch in here as well. So, little pit stop, and then we're going to do uh, Toy Story Mania, I think. So sometimes the magic can all just get a little bit too much. You just need to just take your own time and just relax. Like I've mentioned, have a refresh, have a chill. And uh, yeah, you know, just take a nap in Woody's lunchbox. It's a good spot to have a nap, really. Especially if you can put your arms up on the, on the balustrades there. And you just take a nap, you know, just chill out. Yeah, 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 I agree. I agree, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think he's I think he's actually playing Toy Story Mania in his sleep. He's, he is, he's dreaming, he's in Toy Story here. He's just met, he's just met Woody. Yeah, yeah, see look, he's just pulled the trigger then. <laughs> Sometimes you just got a nap where you're not. Just leave him here. Just leave him here. But you'll wake up in Toy Story Land wondering where, 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 and what happened. Oh, oh! No, did you, did you win? Did you win? Did you shoot the balloon with the five thousand points? Yeah, I've never won yet. Well, I've been recording you for a whole minute. You were playing Toy Story Mania in your sleep. You were, <laughs> you were nodding. You were talking. I was having a nice dream. Talking. Sounds like. It was. Just walking down the path. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh look, there's the Tower of Terror. <laughs> well, all refreshed from the Buddy's lunchbox. We've just chilled for a little bit, and now we're uh, on to Toy Story Mania. Gonna, gonna, gonna definitely gonna beat you. I won last time. I am rubbish at this. That's not I good. Absolutely. You've got to aim for the higher numbers. So if you look yeah. in the corners, high up, low down, left, right, that's where the the smaller targets are, but they're much higher numbers. I swear to you, they beat me. Probably would. You are pretty poor at this. You're pretty, I did well last time. But yeah, you've got to look for those little higher numbers. They pop up small, normally at the top of screen, bottom, left, right, on all of the games. Look for those high numbers. So, I absolutely thrashed you last time. So, we're going to make it interesting today. We're going to put a handicap on. So, whatever you get, you get 50,000 added on. Let's see if I can win it this time with 50,000 added so on. So whatever you get, 50,000 added on, I've got to beat that. Yeah. Okay. Can I have added on? You'd need like 200,000 added on you. <laughs> so here we are going on in. I've got 50,000 in the bank. So let's see if here I can go, beat Andrew. Here's the gun. And let's beat me see. 50,000 points. I'm gonna try. Well, it's a moment of truth, Laura. Here we go. What happened? Here we go. 150, 154. Laura beat me by a mile. If you had Laura's handicap on, 200,000 you got. There you go. My accuracy is better than yours. And well. you actually beat me anyway. You didn't need one. No, it didn't. You beat me today anyway. Best in our vehicle was 168. Wow. What did you get? 124. What did you get, Dad? What? 85. 85. Plus the 50,000. You still didn't beat anyone. Huh. Was it? 154. I was aiming for the high ones as well. Yeah. Is it just me or does anyone else get really stressed out on that ride trying to get the high numbers? And it's such a hard choice as to whether to just focus on getting the masses or focus on getting the little high numbers in the corners. There's a couple of big 5,000 ones came up, especially on the, the ring toss one. If you look in the top right, top left corners, there's some big ones come up, some 5,000 point ones. Yeah, I get really stressed out. My blood pressure goes through the roof and everything on that, trying to win. Good fun though, it's great fun with the family, especially if you have a little little bet within the family who's going to win and stuff. You don't have to actually wager anything, but you can have a little bet between yourselves and play with the family who's going to win and stuff. Whoever wins has to buy the Woody's lunchbox, there you go. Yeah, it's busy in here, we're going to head through. Good news is Slinky Dog is back on. 
we're gonna head through to cars now jude loves cars disney cars or pixar cars so we're gonna head right around to the lightning mcqueen experience which we've never ever done so that'll be good fun we'll vlog that and then uh, potentially tower of terror and then probably head out i think little jude will need a little nap but yeah we like to just sort of pop in a few hours and then come out again it's the way we like to do it we might do a bit of a cot later as well for Woody and Jesse's huge, very popular area. This one, so everyone, come on then in the comments. How good is the atmosphere down this street? What's your favorite street to walk down, Laura? You've got Main Street with the castle. I love Main Street with the castle. Oh, see, this, this is this, this is mine, yeah. I think it was the music here better. Yeah. I think this is a little bit more immersive. Main Street yeah. is quite full on. But let me know in the comments your favourite. It might even be down Universal Boulevard or the entrance into Islands of Adventure. Let me know which park. But for me, this walk here with Tower of Terror in the middle is the one. It really is. With the music as well, just makes it. This is what we're on though, on our way to. Never ever done it. Lightning McQueen's Racing Academy. Not really ever, I, I, I like cars, but I'm not massively into it, but Jude loves it. So once you've got someone with a family interest, you uh, do your best to go over. Aerosmith back open after its little refurb. Nothing changed at all, I believe. Still haven't done this yet, this trip. I know they've taken off the little sponsor off the little guitar pluck there that used to be on. And you've got, a, looks like a new letter T on the starring, unless it's missing the silver bit. But yeah, no changes on that ride. People thought the music was gonna change. There was rumors of Queen being added to the music, but you can see it's still very popular. 90 minute wait, extremely popular still. Yeah, loads of rumors surrounded it and nothing really happened. I think it was just general maintenance and the little refurb they needed to do for safety. But yeah, let's go and see what's happening at Lightning, Lightning McQueen's then. Jude's gonna love this, absolutely. Something we've never done. I'm looking forward to doing something we've never done. Go, so I've just come into the studio. It barely smells like HHN in here. Well, it might be must be the fog or something. Okay. Wow, it's very it's much bigger than I thought it was gonna be. It really is. Much bigger. Great for kids that, really good fun. Jude absolutely loved it. Especially if your favorite characters are in their cars. That was great for kids. And I'll tell you what, yeah, like you've just said, it was a nice escape for a bit of shade and air con for sure. And uh, that runs sort of every 20 minutes or so, quite often. The smell of HHN was in there because of the, the smoke steam, the smoke machine, you could smell it. So we're gonna do a little ride on uh, Tower of Terror now, I think. Before we uh, head out, we might grab an ice cream. No, no, have I. It's a uh, nice angle, actually. Good, good place to come and get your pictures, actually, this one. Just by the Racing Academy. This is the view you've got. You can actually get the back end in as well. So you get palm trees, Tower of Terror. Good little photo spot, that. If you're looking for one that isn't crowded. Laura, have you checked us in here again? I thought we yeah. were done with this hotel. I loved it so much last time. We're going to come again for my Last time, time, we just about got out last time. We need a little, little chill after that cruise, so we're going to go and chill. So you've picked again the dark side of Hollywood. Yes. Thank you very much. Love it. We just about got out last time. After ending up in some form of fifth dimension. Aye. In the deepest, darkest corners of our imagination. And now we're, now we're checking in again. Have we at least got some loyalty points for coming back? We invite you if you dare to step aboard because in tonight's episode, you are the star. And this elevator travels directly to the gift shop. The <laughs> tip here on Tower of Terror we always find going straight to the very end on the left side a little bit quicker don't know if it's true or not but that's just normally what we aim for we always go right down to the end here on the left please remain seated with your seatbelt fastened keeping your hands arms feet and legs inside the elevator at all times 
and do take special care to supervise your children. One hands in the air, all hands, all the way up. Three. All right, now that you have had a practice run, enjoy your stay. So just been chatting to this lovely family here, subscribers, having a great time. They were just saying that they came in last night and uh, by about eight o'clock, half eight, everything went really, really quiet. Everyone headed into Fantasmic or headed out. Uh, even Rise of Resistance was about a 10 minute wait, five minutes for Tower of Terror. So one thing to note, yeah, coming in late could be handy when everyone's in Fantasmic for sure. So we might do that one day, yeah, come in at about six o'clock. Everything starts quieting off because right now it is busy. And it's Scorchio. Yep, it's getting hot, definitely. Look at the crowds. We're going to walk back through the shops, through the aircon, see if anything takes our fancy and start heading out. We might grab a twisty treat, Laura. Oh, definitely, yeah. Dad loves a twisty treat as well. Yeah, we're fancying a little twisty treat, uh, which is a little ice cream shop on the 192. We'll show you where it is. It's uh, opposite uh, celebration. It's a must try. Yeah, it's, it's good value as well. You get a lot of ice cream for the money, which is nice. Yeah, I always recommend if you can, even if you don't want to buy anything, walk through the shops, get you a little bit of air con. It is a nice way to cool down and you can still sort of walk through along this road, but you're getting a little bit of a cool down, a little bit of AC as you do it. Just spotted this different lounge fly in one of the shops. Nice that. I've not seen that one before. It's nice, isn't it? It's dangerous. Oh, uh, could be risky. How much is it, Laura? 80. With our discount as well. Oh, yeah, we got discount. Don't forget, we got our annual pass discount. We've got a rock and roller coaster one there. I think we've seen the rest of these. Just keeping an eye out for anything new. Not seen that one before either. That's quite interesting. The Toy Story one. Very colourful. Very colourful. Yeah, I do like that one, Laura. It's nice, isn't it? Strangely enough, I do quite like the t shirt. I do like the shirt, shirt as well. It's quite good, isn't it? How much is that? Just out of interest, $60. It's quite good, that. It's nice, thick material as well. Good quality, it feels like. Don't know whether I'd ever get it, but I do quite like it. I'm not a big Lilo and Stitch fan, but... Alright. Got a Tommy Hilfiger range in here now. The skirt's quite nice, although it looks a bit like a tennis outfit. I don't know if that's what, they're, that, what the aim is. Still got all of this. They can never sell any of this coach gear. See the coach stuff on sale in the... Uh, outlet all the time yeah. coach stuff just doesn't sell see what's going on in here little uh, Disney exclusives what have we got happening Mickey Bar ones, ones are good yeah seen those before which ones do you like the look of Laura just out of interest that one's a cute one well, which is the I... Star Wars one at the top yeah. If, yeah, I, if I had a, a Pandora bracelet, I'd want one, that one there. The Mickey one? With the Mickey bar. Oh, the Mickey bar, yeah. <laughs> it's quite a good one, that one. Yeah. I do like the Tower of Terror one there as well. We're just taking a little look at some of the Pandoras. Laura has picked one out, which we will show you later. Uh, now, one big key thing is we mentioned when we got our annual passes that there was going to be added benefits this month. That has now come out and it has kicked in. It's 30% off any merchandise. That's boot the Pandora, the backpacks, the jumpers, yep. the shoes. So the Pandora like Laura likes that she got uh, is one that she hasn't got on any of her bracelets. And that was $75, but you get a 30% discount. So the lounge fly that you liked that was, what was that, 70? 79. 79, you're gonna get 30% off. That as an annual pass holder, so. It's a good discount for us because we always get a Pandora. Mum's getting one as well. We're gonna get her 30% out. 
Yeah, it's uh, so bear that in mind until the end of June, the lady said. Lovely lady Elizabeth, we're getting served by here in Pandora in uh, Hollywood Studios. Off, so yeah, just, like, until the end of June, that is. On, back, now yeah. off, so it was 20% originally, it's now 30% until the end of June. So annual pass holders, bear that in mind, any merch you're fancying, you're going to get 30% discount. Yes, Get spending your uh, Disney dollars, eh? Yeah. <laughs> well then, twisty treat time for a little bit of a refreshment. And this was actually on the way home for us because the, the new exit out of Hollywood Studios does uh, put you out of the 192 further down. So this is literally on the way. You've got ice cream cookie sandwiches, different things for the kids. I'm just gonna go for a standard cup, I think, Laura, with M&Ms I'm fancying today. M&M cup, I think. You've got different types of cones as well, different slushies too. This is a size small and it's absolutely huge. Laura, what have you gone for? Well, I asked for a pan, but I've got half fudge, but I'm not complaining. It does look good. Why is yours smaller than mine? I know. I think it's mine's a Sunday, so I'll get the sauce in it. They're massive. I know. Definitely start off with a small in here. That is huge. I'm not going to eat all that. No. Well, here you go. Waffle cones go. coming out here. Oh, oh. Pause, watch. There's your small. Wow, Dad. Thanks, Mum. Blow me neck. Look you had that. to go large, did you? Look at that, baby. Oh, you, Mum got a small. Oh. That is huge, Dad. Mm. Nice. Mm. You're a bit plain, aren't you? Just ice cream and sprinkles. Oh. <laughs> Straight up. It's too much, Joyce. There was a lot, wasn't there? It's yeah. hard to pick. I know. So for the next few hours, we did spend it filming our lovely Trip House Villa. We filmed the full tour. This villa was amazing. It's seven bedrooms, absolutely massive theming was unbelievable as well the full tour is on the channel in a separate video but it uh, did take a lot of time we had to get all the b-roll shots set up all the tvs uh, you know put star wars on in the star wars room things like that so it did take a bit of time setting up the home filming it filming the tour but i think it came off really well one of our best tours that we've done and we absolutely love the home so welcome everyone to epcot parking lot uh, gotta make a note of where we're parked. We're in Hey Hey. I don't know, but I'm gonna take a picture. Hey Hey. Hey Ho 109, I think it was. Uh, so, heading into Epcot with mum and dad this evening. We've just been filming our villa tour. Absolutely amazing. A uh, big thank you to Trip House for that. Make sure you check out oh, that uh, video. Nice to see it. Yeah, if you're watching uh, behind time, do make sure you check out that villa tour on the channel. Really, really amazing rental villa that is. So yeah, we're coming to Epcot this evening. We've got a couple of hours before it closes. So we're going to enjoy a little bit of music, a little bit of uh, Flower and Garden Festival, a little bit of a bite to eat. Hopefully we're going to pick up our pass holder magnet. And yeah, just enjoy a couple of hours. I do like the way people do these. We need to get these markers. Disney bound with nine kids. Make it magical for them. All right, so it's even... I mean, that's a cheeky way of doing it, but why not? You know what I mean? They put the Venmo on there, make it magical for his nine kids. You can Venmo him. Magic for the parents and get, get the babysitter for the late. You know? That's one way of doing it, I suppose. I hope they're having a good time. I hope they're having a good time. We had noticed, I don't know whether it was like this last time, it possibly well could have been because they did revamp a lot of the entrance. But all of the new signage looks really nice in the car park. I, I, if it was like this last time, I didn't notice it, but all the new poles, new colour scheme, new, uh, all in the new Epcot font. Like this one here with Hey Hey on. I don't think they've introduced Moana and Hey Hey in the game. Yeah. Some different characters in there. So, Dad, on your way into Epcot, you like it in here? What are you looking forward to? I, I mean, there's pretty much no chance of getting on Guardians, but that is one of your favourites, isn't it? We'll have a look, but it's very unlikely. It, it's there with Town and Town, which yeah. we've done today. But if, no, I'd love to get on Guardians, but if not, we're coming another day, aren't we? Yeah. Um, it's, just, it's, it's nice and cool, there's a breeze. Um, you love your Rose and Crown, don't you, for a little really? beer? That's in the England <laughs> Pavilion. I mean, you come all the way here and you want to sit in the England I, I Pavilion. Really, in I really want to buy a pint of Boddington's for like $15. There's something really nice about 
handing over fifteen dollars for a body in cinema. That's like cinema. more than London prices. Ah, oh, like. yeah. <laughs> well, I do like that. I love, do like the uh, the UK part of Epcot. Yeah, it is so. nice wandering around. I do. I, yeah. I like it of an evening Epcot. I like it all the time, but evening just seems to be really nice around the lake. We've yeah. got flower and garden on at the moment. I think the white something, the white tees, the white t-shirts or something around tonight. Uh, so we'll see if they're playing. Got music on. Maybe that way. Nearly went the wrong way. But yeah, we'll catch you once we're inside and see where we end up. So it's going to be a see how it goes sort of uh, evening tonight. Who was it on tonight? Plain white tees. The plain white tees. Hey there, Delilah. We all know that song. Okay, they're on tonight. I would like to see them. Actually. There's a different singer on every sort of every four nights. It changes and someone else comes on. And uh, there's some different acts on. There you go, you've got the view of the Epcot ball there, Spaceship Earth. Uh, for a one day pass into Epcot, it is $139 for just one day. If you're going to do it for the day, make sure you get here when your first opens. Enjoy yourself. If you want to do a one day with a park hopper, $214 for a day. Wow. It really does rack up. Considering you can get those 14 day passes in the UK, uh, on attraction tickets or Orlando attraction tickets. There's two websites there uh, that I would trust. You can get them 14 day pass with Park Hopper for uh, I think around 500 pounds. So really big, big difference if you go for a 14 day pass. And the seven day pass is the same as a 14. So 14 day is where the value is. Well, what a beautiful entrance to Flower and Garden Festival. We've got Moana, some of the nice characters there. Dad loves his garden and his gardening, yeah, so I'm sure he'll enjoy it tonight. Mum's going to get a nice picture. Oh, there goes the monorail as well. There's a nice shot. Very nice. Well, Mum, you've certainly come prepared for Flower and Garden. Haven't you? You're going to disappear into the hedges, aren't you? I had a tip off. I knew it was Flower and Garden. Ah, see, I like it. I like it. I've just taken it. a photograph and Mum's disappeared into it. Yeah, it's just Mum's head, just floating. <laughs> That is a lovely entrance though, is, really it? nice. I'm looking forward to seeing some of the... Which film we can't remember? It's this late, this one here we can't remember, isn't it? Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna, someone's going to let us know in the comments. The favourite. It was her who was the favourite. I'm trying to think. Someone will let me know in the comments. And you'll be really annoyed when they let you know. Right, come on then, let's get some more nice pictures of you. Nice. Disappearing into the background, very floral. Where's it from, Mum? Because you sold out in a uh, M&S, sold out of your last floral no, shirt. Next, next it was, yeah, someone yeah. posted in the group. Right. Well, that they'd sold all the t-shirts. So well, where's this one from? This is also next. Oh, well, next. <laughs> if you want your floral t-shirts and shirts, uh, you'll be like, uh, you'll be like Holly Willoughby, won't you? Doing all the M&S and the I next gear. Yeah, it used to be M&S, didn't it? But they've gone a little bit more. Not for you now, are they? No. Oh, nice. I do like all the nice new uh, logos on the Epcot flags. They did make a nice change. A lot of people were a bit worried that all those monuments going would be uh, not as nice. But I think this is way better. For, way better now. Entering the park, much cleaner, much more sleek, isn't it? I know people paid money to go on those walls and they have been relocated but for me this is such a nicer more sleek entrance yeah, more it's modern easy to navigate as well. those made it quite difficult to yeah get really did yeah. much smoother uh, access in now okay Laura where are, where are we then we are in the annual castle line to yep it's magnet collection time you've seen us pick them up at Universal we now need to get a Disney one for the fridge and it's your favourite character in the whole of Disney, isn't it? Your first month of being a, a pass holder, that's what sold it to you, wasn't it? You're like, I've got to be an annual pass holder to get the fig figment magnet. Oh no, front and centre. Front and centre, you know you're loving. It's the whole reason that we got them, isn't it? It's for the uh, figment magnet. So yeah, if you... Um, if you are the pass holder, you can come in to Creation Shop and pick one up uh, for free. A lot of people go mad for them. We're just going to grab one while we're here. Uh, and then I think uh, we're going to be doing Remy's Ratatouille a bit later. We might have a little bit of dinner first. A little bit of a bite to eat, you're thinking? I would like some chicken and chips. Chicken and chips. Gluten-free. 
quite like the Oswald shirts for some reason on the model in there. Yeah, it looks quite nice. This is a good shop as well. We're going to have a mooch in this shop once we've got this uh, quick free magnet. We're going to have a little mooch around, show you what's going on. So here they are. You do have to show your pass and your ID. Laura's already taken the little uh, see-through bits out. I'm leaving mine in for now. Yeah. There you go. You've got two, Laura, just in case you lose one. <laughs> Let's have a little mooch around here then. I quite like the Oswald uh, stuff, the Oswald merch. I've not seen that yet this trip. Let's have a little look, see what else is going on. Mum and Dad are in here somewhere. Uh, I've not seen these before either. These are 100 decades ears. So these are like the sailboat Mickey, is it? That's the theme? No, it's the film. One of the films. Oh, I do like that one as well. Three Amigos. Good. Yeah. Let's see what lounge flies they've got going on as well. We've got a Cinderella one here. Oh, that's nice. we like that one. So always check through. Just if you go through World of Disney or one of those, you might think you've seen all the merch that's for sale. It's not. There are, there's always something different in each store, got isn't it? Shops. Yes, I knew. No. And I've not seen that either. So there's always different stuff in each shop. If you're into your merch, I mean, you don't have to come in and look at all this. A lot of people like to come and, you know not bother with all the merchandise but if you are into your merch and there's always different stuff in each shop like i've not seen any of this in world of disney or in magic kingdom always different things i don't think i've seen this one either either this little lounge fly there's the brand new aerial that's the one brand new aerial let me know in the comments, everyone. I know I'm asking a lot of questions in the comments today. I do apologize. Um, you'll all be typing away, but what do you think of this 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 new design of Mickey? Is he like the new modern version? I like it. You like it? I'm 50-50 yeah. mm, here. Let me know. I mean, I like the merch, but I'm not so sure on the design of the new Mickey. I'm not sure on the, the face. Mm, I'm 50-50 on that one. Let me know your thoughts. 50-50 with that. All your different t-shirts going on in here. I like the Pizza Planet one's good. And that one's quite subtle as well. That one's not too... Very similar. It's not too in your face, is it? Yeah. Quite subtle. A bit more of the Star Wars stuff here. Quite a cool shirt as well. Quite like that one. See, there's just so much different stuff. So much to have a quick look at the Toy Story stuff here. So there's different stuff here that wasn't even in the Toy Story shop or in Toy Story Land. That's really cool, that one. That's, that's right up my street, that one. Right up my street. So you've got all your different uh, toys as well. The Buzz Lightyears. I always think, though, I always think of that prank guy that, you know, on TikTok, the guy who does the pranks. He's like, I bought this like, uh, Buzz Lightyear from you guys. <laughs> But uh, when I press the buttons, I'm pretty sure this line is not in the movie. <laughs> and we can't say what they say. Yeah, he, he changes the voice box in him and, and he like confuses the, the Walmart and the Target staff. Ooh, little uh, remixes, they're quite funky. Yeah. So mum's just picking out a pair of ears. What are you thinking, mum? You've got those ones there you've just collected. What are the, what are the other ones, Snow White? Snow White. What do you think, Laura? What should mum go for? You like the three caballeros as well? No, I can't go with either one. <laughs> I don't think they're you, them ones. No, for some reason. I mean, they're nice, but I don't think they're you. No, I didn't say the Snow White ones. It was them ones I didn't, wasn't... Oh, well, that is so you, that. That is definitely you. Come on, guys. That's just you in a hat normally. <laughs> <laughs> That's just you in any hat. No, they're nice. They're nice. So they it definitely suits nice. your flowery top. Suit, I think they're really good. Yeah, 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 I like yeah, them. Yeah, and then you'll remember taking Jude on the on Three Caballeros last time. Oh, yeah, I'll do Three Yeah. 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 They're, they're part of the 100 collection as well. Oh, look, get at you. Oh, see, look. Have you put a hat on or something? <laughs> I can't tell. Something slightly different about you, but I can't tell. You're saying I look like Mater of cars. You do? Because we goofy teeth. That's why, Jude, that's why Jude likes it so much. Reminds him of Grandad. <laughs> Just 
here in the Connections Eatery. I've just done a mobile order online. First time doing it, please wait for your window. So between uh, 35 past and eight, I can come and hopefully our food will be ready in this window. It should let me know, I hope. Hopefully that's gonna be quicker than waiting in this line. We'll see, testing it out for the first time. But at least I can go and sit down and chill now. I did manage to do Laura's gluten-free on there as well. So all the allergy menu is on there. So we'll see, we'll see how we get on, see what happens. Well, it's my first time doing mobile order and it probably will be my last. It's been absolutely ages. I did go up and have a bit of a moan and they bumped the order forward so it's been prepared quicker. But I just don't get it. You might as well just wait in the queue and get your food straight away. It hasn't saved anything. I just don't understand the big deal with mobile order, to be honest. I'd have been better in the queue and get my food straight away. If I hadn't moaned, it still wouldn't even been getting prepared. I don't quite understand it personally. So. If you want to do that and save money on staff, get the back staff working yeah. more staff in the back. I probably wouldn't do it again. I could have just uh, queued up and got it much quicker. So we got there in the end. Tenders are okay. Chips are all right. Yeah. Got your allergy piece there, gluten free. Yeah. Mum, the curry pizza. It's lovely. It's lovely. It's Not spicy. the hottest. Not the hottest. Spicy is lovely. All oh, right, okay. Flavours are good. You yeah. enjoying yours as well, Dad? All good. It's all okay, it's theme park food, isn't it? But yeah, I would not mobile order again. No way. I mean, I think everyone else needs something to eat it. I know, no one else is mobile ordering, yeah. It took, took two complaints that did yeah. to get the food in the end. In a wonder now after our eventful dinner, is how I would describe it. Not the best experience, but the food was decent. Got the Songbird Meadow here, so just tell you what all the different plants are, what happens. In place of chemicals, you can use certain plants or even other animals like ladybugs and bats to naturally com control pests. It's talking about pesticides being dangerous for birds. They're really interesting, aren't they, Laura? I like them. Very interesting. There you go, bees are on there, loving life. You can learn a lot more about the plants and stuff as well on Living With The Land. You can get the Behind The, uh, behind the Seeds they tour. Yeah, that's really nice yeah. to go on, yeah. That sunset going down there, lovely, lovely temperature. A lovely time of day to be wandering around Epcot. Really pleasant. Really good bit with uh, Pluto in the middle. Very clever. Not often here for a flower and garden. But it's, it is nice. And normally always here for the food and wine. Well, no, it is. They borrowed the book oh, off you me. Look, there's a little duck and wandering <laughs> through as well. There's a couple of ducks in there. And uh, they've taken my advice over gardening. Oh, I'm sure, yeah. And, um, uh, you see? Mick Marsh over here. <laughs> yeah. We are then we're back in london again laura it was a quick flight wasn't it really quick just a quick five minute flight big credit to virgin fantastic airline got us there nice and quickly and uh, here we are in london where hey i'm glad to be back back in the uk i feel like i'm back in windsor ah nice i like it nice and floral and subtle rose and crown dad's favorite we're gonna ride ratatouille first and then we'll come back and Dad can have a drink in the Rose and Crown, I think. That'll be nice. Yeah, Twining's tea. Oh, it doesn't even feel like over a week ago we were here buying our annual passes in the rain that night. That was on, on uh, is that them? Let's have a little look. Don't think so. That'll be the English rock band, that one, I think. Well, even mum and dad are enjoying it this time of the day. Lovely and cool. They're talking about busy Lizzie's, these flowers arguing about when they're going to plant them in their garden. You haven't planted Busy Lizzie's. <laughs> I told you, you should. There's a nice pot plant, Busy Lizzie's. That's a nice view as well of the skyline of there. The plants underneath. 
very nice over there. Skyline is overhead. It's a nice view. Well, we admire the view. Can I just ask you, what are busy Lizzie's and why are you arguing over oh, them? Right. What are busy Lizzie's? Because you know the bags you can get that you hang up and put plants in? Yeah. About 12 plants in. I asked Dad to buy plugs of busy Lizzie's. Right. Which are these? They sound Lizzie's like sweets. So these are them, these are what you've been arguing about all the way round. My dad brought back little begonias and I don't like begonias. Right, and well you best get the busy lizzies then. I want busy lizzies. In a couple of weeks time I'll post up the pictures of the bags I've done. Right. Fuchsia's busy lizzies, uh, begonias <laughs> and a hanging basket. And you should judge for yourself. Well I want to see the busy lizzies. I want to see it looking like Epcot Flower and Garden in your garden. <laughs> Like bags of those I know, would have looked lovely a garden like that. You best go and order some. Just admiring this lady's dress like spaceship air. You can get nice fresh crepes in there as well. Do you fancy a crepe later, Mum? <laughs> Maybe a little crepe after this. Oh, I see. We knew, yeah, a little fresh crepe later, maybe, Mum. There you go. I fancy a dessert as well, so I'm with you on that one. Oh, hey. Little chocolatey one for me, I think. We'll see. See how we get on. We've got to get this done first. Lovely grand entrance to this. Can you see me? Am I like coming right at you? You see, see my hands? Coming right at you? Supposed to put them on when you get on the ride. Two. Two. You're supposed to be on the ride when you put I'm them on. Checking they fit. <laughs> what, what? Like there's different sizes. Yeah, lines. Little greasy fingers all over them. It's not right. <laughs> You're supposed to not have them on yet. Where am I? Where am I going? Here you go, Laurie, your mouse awaits. Or is it, is it, it's a rat though, isn't he? He's not a mouse, he's a rat. He's a rat, yeah. He's a rat. Ratatouille, rat. Ratatouille, rat, here we go then. Right, Dad, now you put your glasses on. Now you might be able to see what's going on. There's some 3D things in here. Look like it coming out. Whoa, see that? Whoa. Yeah, I've got 3D fingerprints. See that? Whoa. <laughs> Came out, you quick that, didn't it? Whoa! <laughs> well, it's so much better with that hideous barge thing gone from that awful show. I know, there's two things that Disney got wrong over the last few years. One of them was that, the uh, barge in the middle of the Lake of Epcot. The other was the NBA experience at Disney Springs. That's another one they got badly wrong. But not often they get things wrong, Disney, but those two, they really did. But it looks so much better now. We can see right across the lake again. Looks lovely. People are getting ready, getting their spots for the show. The uh, fires are on, which are quite cool as well. And we're going to head round, hopefully catch a bit of the show and try and jump on uh, try, I'm going to try and jump on test track just before the park closes if we can well, this show is called Epcot Forever some lovely fireworks the beauty of it is I've not really got any particular tips on where to stand because anywhere around this lake with a bit of a view like this is absolutely fine that's what's the great thing about the Epcot fireworks there's no real bad place to watch it from as long as you've got a view like this Anywhere around this lake, you're going to get a good view. Uh, what I would say is, in terms of a slight tip on where to watch it from, if you do want to get out the park a little bit quicker, try and watch it from this side. Uh, anywhere near sort of Paris, in front of the Epcot Ball here. Anywhere around here, because you can walk, as soon as the fireworks finish, you can walk straight out of the park. Whereas if you're right at the other side, in America for example, you're going to have a great view, but you're going to have to go all the way around with all the crowds right around the lake. If you want to get a bit of a quicker exit, try and watch it from around here.
Come on, Laura, let's see your dance moves. Hey, it does put you in a proper good mood, this, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> really Mexican. We're going to grab our little spots just to watch it from round here. So we can make a little dive. We'll have a little mooch in the shop first. So while we're in here, might as well show you some of the different merch again, because this is all different to what uh, we've seen uh, in other shops. This is some different stuff, and we've got even got some other different Tommy Hilfiger over there as well. I do actually really like this cap. I'm not, I wouldn't wear it myself, but I think it's a great idea, and I think it's good merch. They should do some t-shirts with this. Park hopping is my cardio. It's about right. It's about right for me. Definitely, I'm not a gym yeah. goer. But this is your gym. Yeah. I'll tell you guys, I've gave you the tip before. They really do spread the merch around. We haven't seen these ears before. We haven't seen these Tinkerbell ears before. <coughs> so mooch around all the shops before you make your decision, girls, because there's so many different, different ears, options yeah. and I've not seen yours anywhere in the in hollywood studios or at cot yeah I'm not, not seen yours at all anywhere. only in only in magic kingdom so go. we're very glad you bought them now aren't we definitely yeah but it just goes to show that they really do spread out the merch around yeah they're not soft because what they're doing is making you look in every single disney shop and they hope that you see more that you like and more that you like yeah. it's very clever but yeah just bear it in mind and if you do see a piece of merch that you like get it there and then because it can sell out it can change in stock. So definitely, if you see it, you like it, yeah. get it. Don't expect to see the likes of these ears here and go, oh, don't worry, I'm going to Disney Springs later. I'll get them in Disney Springs because the likelihood is they won't be in Disney Springs or they have a yeah. different stock. So just bear that in mind as well. Okay, so it is a little bit breezy here, but I want to show you this new 3D map that you've got. Really good at all. Um, in Brailled as well, it shows uh, where you can let the guide dogs go to the toilet, things like that. Really clear, really good way to find out about the park. So this shows the monorail track going around as well. And it just shows how big the lake is. It is massive. So when you're walking around this, it can be very tiring. It might be worth hopping on one of these boats to go across to save a little bit of walking. Right, but this is what I said, this is where we are now, and this is the exit of the park, so we're quite close to scoot off. Whereas if you watch it from over here in Italy, America, Germany, you've got to walk all the way around the lake with all the crowds, then out, along that way. This way, we can watch the fireworks, and then shoot off. So that's just a little tip of mine, but yeah, really good uh, new 3D touchboard. I think that's really good. Especially if you've got any disabilities or blind or partially blind yeah. you can really work out where things are i like that nice new addition very nice it's good good way of memorizing how the park is as well shows absolutely everything
Well, test track not to be tonight. I didn't realise the park closes at nine. Normally closes at ten. Closes at nine, and there was a special event on until eleven o'clock tonight for your premium, luxury. super luxury hotel guests. So they get the park for two hours, which is very nice. Very nice they get to them, yeah. Uh, yeah, they get to ride and probably have a very quiet time in about oh, half an hour. Lovely, yeah. Would be nice to probably better get guardians done and things. Well, yeah, better in the morning because I'm not so tired. And it's not so hot either. So yeah, no test track for us tonight, but we will do it another time. We'll have a little uh, wander out towards the park, grab some little shots. I might actually get a nice cool time lapse. I'm always thinking of camera shots, aren't I? Cool time lapse of people leaving. That'd be nice. See how tired people look on the way oh out. God, yeah. <laughs> people who've been in here since about 8am. Oh, that'll get me home to bed. <laughs> Well, good night, beautiful Epcot. What a gorgeous exit this is. We're gonna head on home now and we'll finish the vlog at home. But what a stunning view that is to finish the night. So we are back in our gorgeous villa. Uh, ready to go to bed for sure it's been a very long day we are up and out tomorrow and off to the animal kingdom first visit to the animal kingdom of this trip so very exciting uh, opens at eight in the morning we're going to be meeting up with the family and then uh, heading on in nice and early we're going to get jude potentially on that little uh, avatar river journey ride which i've never ever vlogged so it's quite good we're doing all these little rides that we don't normally film uh, which is nice i hope you are enjoying those if you are enjoying the vlogs, remember, please do give a thumbs up. That's all we ask. It really helps out the videos. Uh, hitting the little like button, the little thumbs up button. Uh, also, make sure you do subscribe as well. We've got loads of other Florida vlogs already on the channel and lots coming up. So don't miss out. Make sure you do subscribe. It's all free to enjoy this content. So uh, fill your boots. Hopefully it's full of tips and tricks to help you enjoy uh, your Florida trip. And to answer all the questions that I have asked, I've asked quite a few today, to be fair. I do apologise. There's been quite a few little questions I like to ask. Uh, we've got quite an exciting uh, vlog coming up as well. We are meeting with one of uh, the best realtors here in Orlando. So we're going to be speaking to him, asking all things about realty, buying property over here. Uh, not that we're going to, but I thought it would be a very interesting vlog for you all, if anyone was interested, uh, just to find out, you know, the pros, the cons and you know, general numbers, figures, how it works. Is it affected after Brexit for UK buyers, things like that. Uh, so that should be interesting. That's going to be coming up. But so thank you all very much for watching. Remember to hit the thumbs up and uh, we'll see you bright and early tomorrow for a bit of Animal Kingdom. Thank you very much. Stride on, guys.